Where are we looking? Sure. Where do you want us to look? We're going to look at the camera and I'm okay. you talking a little like this. And then when I see it back and everything, Calvin, I'm going to Okay, anytime. Well, here we are. We're still at uh, the second annual Curtis Glen Cross Invitational Rough Stock event. And I'm with our bareback riding champion. Um, familiar title. Thanks, Matt Lake from Kaylee, Alberta does it again two years in a row. I know you're number one, um, and you made mention in your interview tonight. He split it kind of three ways. He was an outstanding. Uh, uh, been a bareback horses last year. It may be even better this year, and I mean, you've just kind of prevailed to the top. Um, first of all, great job. Thank you. Yes. Now, let's talk more about where you've been um, already this year. You've had such a tremendous season, and I know um, we were even talking last weekend, and I, I went to it a lot. Three out of four rodeos last weekend, um, you won. You've just kind of been on fire in the zone. You always go back to about nine years ago now when you were a Canadian season leader. Um, and just kind of this, uh, this unbelievable rookie, everybody was just uh, scared of, and you've just continued and you're riding so good. Any keys to success for what's happening right now? Just been so good. Uh, it's been a lot of uh, working at it a lot more, uh, being mentally strong, being prepared, I think, in the offseason more than anything, getting prepared in that offseason, and then using using the horses to like, gain confidence. So, like any sport, when you're, when you're going to get high, it's tough to get the guy out. I mean, you might not be the best guy out there, but when you're winning and you're getting on the right horses, you're confident as high, you can roll out there and make horses that might not always be good to make them. It's just, just for the fact that you, you, you know what to do. You know, you've been really good. And I know this is one, and you talked about last year you donated some money back. And I know that this is a good cause. When you look at a charity event like this, and I know that they're fortunate enough to have a bareback rider in your calendar, one of the greatest in Canada, and to come to an event like this. But I know it means something to you. And, and talk a little bit to that effect, what something like this does mean. Uh, it was funny, like this year, uh, we had uh, a cousin of ours, uh, an Afro, I'm related to him now, his daughter, and, and they used the uh, Ronald McDonald's charity. That's right, yeah, you know, for sure, and as a father, I get that too. It's, a, it's an emotional time when Cowboys come out together. There's a cross in the time. Again, huge congratulations to you, and I know you've got things to look forward to. You're kind of going into a position at the CFR this year where uh, you're a huge contender for a Canadian title. Five for that title. Yeah, awesome. Thank you, sir.